guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a lip swatch video and review on the full collection. Yes, all nine shades. As far as I know, there's only nine shades on the website. These are the Elf Velvet Matte Lipsticks. So we're going to swatch them. I'm going to swatch them on my mouth. I'm going to swatch them on my arm. And then we're going to go ahead and talk about these, the pros, the cons, the cost, all the dates. Hang tight if you guys want to see my review and swatches. And keep on watching. Let's get into the video. all nine lipsticks swatched out I hope you found those helpful I am like trying not to touch anything right now because I'm all swatched up all right let's talk about these lipsticks these retail for three dollars each you can find them on the elf cosmetics website and these are called again the velvet matte lipsticks just come in a basic um, lipstick tube um, simple bullet twisting mechanism is really nice packaging is dead on exactly the same as the moisturizing lipsticks yes there are two different ones on the website same sort of packaging here's just a look at the difference here and these ones are three dollars each i did do a full review and swatches i go more in depth on these guys here i will link that review video down below i also did lip swatches as well so if you're interested in these in a review definitely check that out so all the lipsticks just come in you know the standard elf packaging i'm sure you guys have seen this before i've seen these at i think target walmart some other drugstores i've seen them at so these lipsticks have argan oil they also have rose and vitamin e so they are more hydrating to the lips and they do add some amount of nourishment so the longevity and wearable time with these lipsticks i would say is pretty average anywhere from four to five hours i feel like you will have to do touch-ups because this is just a regular bullet lipstick you know it's not a liquid to matte these don't claim to be kiss proof they do transfer, I mean it's going to transfer, it's a regular lipstick, but I feel like they hold up really well even through eating and drinking, definitely with the more matte finished um, colors, 
definitely hold up a lot better. All right, let's talk about the formula of these because I do feel like the formula is not consistent with all nine shades, and I'm gonna tell you why. So I'm sure you can see in the swatches, the lip swatches, me applying, some of them went on super pigmented, like holy crap, I barely applied any pressure to my lips, and it was like full on color, full opacity, and like shine. Like there is no matte going on here. So I don't know why these are called velvet matte lipsticks when not all of the shades are a velvet matte finish. So these shades I'm holding right here are all the shades that I found to be super creamy, super like hydrating. They were so opaque and creamy and the formula felt like a moisturizing lipsticks. I feel like the two lipsticks from e.l.f. are so confusing. The moisturizing ones sort of act as like a matte lipstick and these are like super moisturizing and creamy and so 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 opaque. This formula feels very different. It's anything like I've ever tried from e.l.f. And I will list down below in the description box you guys so in case you're wondering which ones I found to be really creamy and then the ones that I found very matte and less creamy. You know when you try a lipstick and a product and you fall in love with it, say you fall in love with Flirty Flamingo and then you purchase another shade, for instance, Deep Burgundy and this was more on the dry side. I, it, it tugged a little bit on the lips but once you applied it, it was really opaque, really beautiful. I love all the colors in this collection are so, so gorgeous and beautiful. I just wish that the formula was consistent. I mean, I can't complain, it's a $3 lipstick. You get what you pay for, but I just wish the formula was consistent with all nine shades. So that is something to take into consideration when purchasing these. Do I hate both of these formulas? No, I actually love both equally, and I think I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with these colors and trying them out with different looks and I really I really love the creaminess of the hydrating ones and then the matte ones are just really nice and super long wearing and comfortable. I find both to be comfortable on the lips and not drying at all which is fantastic. So do I think these are bad lipsticks? No I don't but I think you should also keep in mind that the formula was not consistent which was really disappointing but at the same time I'm not mad, I'm not mad at e.l.f., but I do wish they would just be consistent with the entire shade range with a specific formula. If it claims to be velvet matte, make them all matte. Alright guys, so that is my review and lip swatches on these lipsticks from e.l.f. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. I post new videos on every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on Sunday, girl. Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you found this video helpful. Leave a comment down below. Have you experienced sort of a mix match in formulas with these velvet matte lipsticks from e.l.f.? I'm really curious. Maybe I got a bad batch. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye guys.